what is going on fam we are uh, just cruising around today it's been a few weeks I've been traveling like crazy like I always say in my videos and it's not an excuse hopefully you miss me however I think I'm traveling seven out of the next eight weeks somewhere around there roughly including some weekends because it's international travel so sometimes you have to leave on a Friday or Saturday so I can get to the meeting times on Monday but it takes me overnight to get to Europe most of the locations that I go to anyways and so that's uh, I'm working around that schedule this is the busy travel schedule anyways just wanted to give you a little tour of one of my favorite roads around the mountain here in uh, Mexico City of course so I'm gonna open up the window so you can hear the exhaust. Oh, this happens sometimes in our favorite road. We'll have a another vehicle in front going super slow. Just the way it is with these two lane roads. Oftentimes playing on their phone tell this guy's not even going to speed limit so I'm going 20 miles per hour all right we'll make another attempt on the on the way back so I'm gonna cut and record on the way back see if we can get a good good fun run nothing too crazy it is still a public road so I try to be mindful of that here in Mexico City anyways all right let's try again along with me today. 
thing. I know for you VR headset guys, this is a lot of fun. That's why I put it over to the passenger side. Ignore the little mess we've got over here. There's a beautiful yellow speedster Porsche behind. I don't know if it's a real one or a replica. What is it, a 956? I can't remember what the number is. The one that uh, James Dean is pretty famous for. Actually, that's not it. Anyways, looks beautiful. I was hoping he'd catch up so I can get a better look, but he's all the way back there. Just a beautiful, beautiful car. Well done. Let's turn here, see if we can get away from the traffic a little bit. about 
of that vent itself. So you can lower this and give up some of the AC controls down here. Because, I mean, you rarely ever mess with anything other than the fan speed itself. So, or you can get a pop-up one. Or some people just cut into the dash and put a double dent in there. I didn't want to cut anything because I figure if I, you know, ever get rid of it, the next owner will probably appreciate me putting it all back to stock if I did that. I'm just not a fan. I, you know, even the nicest double din that I've seen installed by cutting the dash had, you know, they have to fiberglass that in, and it just it didn't look great in my opinion. It still didn't look OEM. It looks good, but it still didn't look OEM. So. I chose to go with this one, the Alpine unit, the Halo 9, what is it, the 390 LX or something like that. It's just a great unit. I do wish the resolution was a little bit better, but overall, you know, the fact that I can install the reverse camera, I've got CarPlay, the wireless talking or Bluetooth phone. That's a really nice feature, especially in stick shift, because it's hard to drive stick and talk on the phone or, or hold the phone. And where I'm at, it's actually illegal to even have the phone on your lap. You can't even touch the phone, period. And if you've got it in your lap claiming that you're not using it, you'll still get ticketed for that. So you cannot touch this at all. Anyways, let's see if we can find another nice little back road here. going the same way I am. It's another little road I like to drive on, but I'm just not having any luck today, folks. So I hope you enjoyed just cruising around as a passenger because everywhere I'm going, my usual go-to roads where I can have a little fun and, you know, stretch the legs of this thing a little bit, stretch its legs. It's just not happening today, folks, not happening. Mexico City is busy today, so busy, it's crazy. Responds very well. 
The only downside is for some folks, like in the Viper, you, you'll give up a little bit of the AC vents up here or the AC controls down here. And I wish the resolution, Alpine, if you're listening, please increase the resolution somewhat because it is, in some of the graphics, you'll see the edges, and I'm just not a big fan of that. But overall, I'm 95% like happy with it. I'm glad I got it. And for this car, which had no camera, no tech whatsoever, this was great because now I have CarPlay, hands-free, Bluetooth speaker, and it actually works pretty good. The microphone, I don't know if it's Apple doing the noise cancellation or if Alpine has its own thing. Maybe they're both doing it. But when I'm calling people from here, they can hear me okay, especially if I've got the windows up. They can hear me no problem. So that was a big plus for me. I don't want to be holding the phone. It's against the law. And they gave me CarPlay. And then it also gave me the reverse camera. And I can put a front camera if I want to as well. I think there's two inputs for camera. And then XM radio, anything else you want to add, that's an option in there as well. So I'm going to try another little road back here, see if it's uh, any chance to go in there if it's open. make this up even if I wanted to. That guy was on his phone playing around, swerving side to side, going 10 miles per hour. Thankfully he pulled over. Man, this is crazy. Getting trolled by everyone. Anyways, this is another little road that I love. I don't get too crazy on public roads. Believe me, this car can go plenty fast. I just enjoy twisty roads, the scenery, pretty quiet, just you and the car. See what I mean? A lot of these turns are off camber, decreasing radius, so they get pretty tight pretty quickly. That one probably wasn't the best example, but to the inexperience, because you see, a lot of times, people get into trouble in these roads. I'm just gonna let you enjoy the beautiful sounds that the V10 makes. Thanks for watching all. Take care.